Hi, everybody. So I just returned from the South by Southwest Film Festival, and I'm a little under the weather, as you can hear, but I had the opportunity to cover the red carpet at the Diane Warren Relentless premiere. And this was really cool. Uh, I uh, I actually forgot to film the intro because uh, it was all kind of madness. Uh, I got a call. Uh, I was about th I was staying about 30 minutes outside of where the um, the premiere was going to be, and I got a call uh, that uh, I I could come and do the red carpet at around 9:15, and I had to be there uh, at uh, nine by before 10 o'clock. And uh, so I had to get all ready and uh, out the door and everything and ready to do the red carpet. And I got there, but I was ready by 9.50. So that was pretty fast. Uh, but anyway, it was so fast. I forgot to record the intro. Uh, but yeah, this was a super cool opportunity. Diane Warren has been nominated for tons of Oscars. And uh, it was neat to get to talk with her. And of course, she's written so many hits. And, uh, and then I got to see the movie and, uh, and learn more about her and her life. And I also got to talk with director Bess Car Kargman, uh, who is director of the documentary. So uh, yeah, check it out. Hi, I'm Bess Kargman, the director and producer of Diane Warren's new documentary called Diane Warren Relentless. So what surprised you the most uh, about Diane making this documentary? A few surprises about Diane. Number one, I didn't realize that she's funny enough to be a stand-up comedian. She is so funny. Sometimes she reigns it in, but not all the time. Um, number two, I didn't realize her superstitious nature. I didn't realize um, the cave where she writes all of her hits looked like the way it does. Um, it's a treasure trove of note-taking and cassette tapes and old CDs. It's incredible. And I didn't know that she's on the spectrum. And I think that difference is actually her superpower. So those are some things I didn't know. What do you think makes her music so cinematic? Diane, so Diane really gets to the heart of a scene or even like when she does songs for the credits, she wants people to feel so deeply as they walk out of the theater. So she really um, has a special eye and ear for um, writing music for movies. My heart is full. Hey. Nice to meet you. Nice um, meeting you. Um, so what is it about your music that you think is especially cinematic? Great for the movie. That's a good question. Um, you know, I, I like big songs. Um, you know, I don't know. Um, that's not a good answer. I don't know. I think that, that I'm really good at tying together the emotions in a, in a movie with a song. Um, you know, and that's something I've always loved doing. And this is the first time I've done one for a, song, a movie about me. <laughs> so that's going to be different. What do you do if you feel blocked? I just keep doing it. So I don't really get blocked. Yeah. It's like a, I, 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 every day I write. I was writing this morning downstairs. I was working on a song. Does it ever, you work with so many iconic singers over the years, does it ever lose its, you ever not get goosebumps? No, I get, I mean, it depends on who I'm working with, but I, just, I always love working with great singers, great artists. There's a lot of new people coming up that I'm working with. Do you have a song, maybe from a movie or not, that you think is underappreciated people should check out? Probably, probably lots of them. Yeah. What was it like making this, having this documentary made about you? Uh, well, I wasn't the easiest subject. You know, you ask my director, Bess, was I an easy subject? Was I an easy subject? Um, Be honest. I have two answers. No and no. Terribly <laughs> difficult. And fucked up. <laughs> and a pain in and the And also ass. really difficult. Yes, see? <laughs> the two great answers. And they're, they're both right. Yeah. yeah. Cool. I adore this woman. I adore you Even too. Even though she was a pain in the ass the whole time. You were a pain in the time. ass. I was a pain. I was we such were both, a. That's why I you was were such a pain this. in the ass. We were both pains in the ass. But they, we acknowledge that yeah, from we, day one, we right? We get it. Do you want to talk to us too? Let's wait. We could all do this at the same time. I said you're gonna hate me. No, I never and, hated you. I just thought okay. you were a pain in the ass. And then I'm like, <laughs> it's my karma. I'm a pain in the ass. I get a pain in the ass direct. We have some similarities. So, yeah, we're annoying. Yeah, but it's all good. Huh? Yeah. And yeah, Julie. Yeah, and Julie. <laughs> Very good. I'm so excited to see it. Yeah, I can't wait. So thanks again to South by Southwest for allowing me to cover the red carpet and have this cool experience. 
Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought in the comment section of the conversation that we had with me and Bess and uh, Diane Warren. Love to hear your thoughts. What's your favorite Diane Warren song? Put it in the comments and uh, please like this video. Please subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, check out the patron group and merch store. And we'll talk to y'all later. Bye.